What up, folks? I am Ultrazel, and today I have a review of the Mega House Machine of Build Machine Robo Bike Robo. Yes, it is what it looks like. It is. It is Psykill, but not Psykill. This is Bike Robo from Machine Robo. That's right, he was Heroic Bike Robo in the Japanese version of the cartoon. And it's not the Japanese version of it, it's like a totally different cartoon. Uh, totally different thing, man. Like, Bike Robo, Machine Robo, and GoBots are so different. Um, and, you know, it's funny because it's something I've wanted to talk about here on the channel probably for a little bit, but um, I don't think I've actually reviewed any Machine Robo stuff here. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember right now. I have some. Uh, I have a, a few, a couple at least, uh, Psy Kills, and this was like my favorite. Uh, you know, growing up, GoBots were interesting to me because they came and went really fast um, and didn't have a lasting impression like Transformers did, but they were always there. And I had a few of them, and, uh, you know, Psykill uh, was the one, you know? Like, I really, really gravitated. I'm just gonna call it Psykill, because even though he doesn't have the Psykill face, it, it's Psykill to me. Uh, so I, I, I have a couple of these that come out. DX9 Salmore, I believe it's called. And um, the Action Robo, like, high-end, higher-end one. Didn't review either one of those. I also have the uh, Action ro uh, action Toys, like, smaller Steam Robo. Never reviewed that. So I can't recall if there was anything else. Machine Robo, except the uh, uni Unit Robots, Unit Robos that came out uh, that I uh, reviewed. But definitely not, like, the proper stuff. But we're gonna change that right now. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So you know, I did wanna show how this is laid out because as you can see, it says machine build. So it's kinda like, almost like a kit in the way it's done. You have the directions. And then, uh, I don't think there's anything in that. Then you have I guess the base figure here, you know, it's pretty much intact, but then uh, you have a bunch of stuff that you have to cut on uh, runners, the hands, uh, and just various parts, weapons, uh, tires are in here, so a few things you have to do, so it's not like, you know, it's part figure, part, you know, part kit, so it's like, you know, that's why it's called machine build. Uh, but yeah, just to show you what the base figure is, you know, and uh, this is my first time looking at it too. So it just, you know, that comes out pretty easy. It's it's a very, you know, it's it doesn't feel completely like a kit, but it's kind of kit-ish in the feel. So that's interesting. Got to figure this all out, but yeah, it's interesting for sure. I got mine at the Crunchyroll store, by the way. I didn't uh, say that because I didn't get to it. Um, let's talk about other stuff. But yeah, Crunchyroll store. Uh, this is being reissued. I wanted this when it came out earlier this year, but it was sold out everywhere. And then I did find it on the Crunchyroll store, and uh, I got it on a little deal with a little something extra for Ultrazilla Jr., so, uh, for Christmas. But yeah, here it is, and uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get to putting this guy together now.
we can stop right there because uh, we have all the parts cut out and the pieces that go on uh, by Grobo on. Uh, and what we have here is a bunch of hands, as you saw. Very nice, splayed out open hands. The classic, classic toy hands. Um, you know, these become uh, the whatever they are, the things that hold uh, the wheels. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. The front wheels, I think. Uh, and then you got fist hands. So pretty, pretty cool. We'll put a couple on and I uh, will continue. And here is a uh, bike robo cycle all uh, all done. And it's pretty cool. It's not perfect. As you can see, the arms are rather loose um, going outwards. I mean, you can close them in a bit and that helps out for sure. But I don't know. Then, you know, the further you go in, the harder it is to do stuff. But, um, otherwise, I don't know. I kind of like this guy. The look, looks-wise, it's really, really nice. Like, the colors just pop. I like this blue a lot. I like the yellow, um, everywhere. Uh, you know, these you don't have to put on, but these you had to put in. Uh, but the yellow is nice and, you know, bright. And then the silver is really, really well done. I do like it. I like the sculpt on this thing. Uh, I like this. These pipes back here, they look good. Um, then the upper legs look pretty good as well. Really, really nice. There's no, like, you know, barely any paint on this guy. It's all plastic color. I think the only real paint is um, in the eyes which are yellow Let's zoom in there yeah it's funny the uh the red plastic is like shining up it makes his nose look red <laughs> but it is not but the eyes are painted yellow which looks cool i like his helmet that looks really good you know you added a black piece in the back you have a orange piece up there the wheels look pretty nice they don't sound cheap, like, um, you know, like I'm always complaining about with Transformers. This is nice. Oh, wow. Transformers should think about wheels maybe in this kind of plastic, because the plastic quality definitely feels different than Transformers. There is, I said before that it didn't feel like a kit, but like the more I handle it, it, it kind of does, like in the body, at least. If... Yeah, even in the arms, but it, it's different. I don't know. It's weird. I really like these hands a lot. These uh, open hands and the fist hands. They work pretty good. I do feel like I need to tighten some of these joints in the arms. They are bothering me a little bit. It's also weighed down with the big wheels. Once I put the wheels in, yeah, look at that. You know, if you take the wheels out, I'm assuming it's going to be it's a lot better. It's, the look is not proper, but yeah, it's the wheels. The wheels weigh it down. Um, that's, that's a bit of a bummer, you know? Uh, it's understandable, but yeah, I would, I'd like to tighten up in here and get some, something in there to make it just a wee bit tighter. Maybe some super glue would work. It'll be on the inside, so, and I'm assuming I'd be able to pull this piece out. Sort of easy. Uh, maybe not, but I could inject it in there somehow. Yeah, I think it'll come out. I think it'll come out. So we'll see. We'll see about that, you know. Um, otherwise, I like it. Then you got this big backpack piece. Of course, we do have uh, handlebars up here. Um, big backpack piece. It does... Make it a little bit hard to stand. This guy doesn't have like heel spurs, traditional heel spurs, um, like Transformers do. So, eh, he's standing actually. I don't know. This actually becomes a weapon as well. I mean, it doesn't look good <laughs> or anything. Uh, it's kind of like a camera. Say cheese. Um, but that's, that's really, you know, what it's supposed to be. Um, 
Yeah, I go. I don't know about that, but I don't. I don't remember the original, and obviously, don't really have Bike Robo. But this, you know, a Japanese old school black uh, Bike Robo. But uh, yeah, it's all right. He's got some articulation. Good articulation, actually. The head just kind of swivels a bit. The waist moves back and forth and swivels. It's on a ball joint. So you actually do get some nice range of motion out of it. Oh, it's not a ball joint. But this moves back and forth, which which helps. So it's just a peg. And then, uh, yeah, you see it's like very much like a kit. It is a build. So, again, that does that. And then uh, turns this way. You have a swivel at the bicep. You have a nice elbow bend. Swivel at the wrist. Of course, because you can peg them in. Uh, the legs are on ball joints, only going to get you about that much of a split. Kicks forward, goes back, swivel at uh, the thigh, which is cool. And then double jointed uh, knees, very nice. And then the foot hinge goes back and forth, and a little bit side to side. Not a ton, but it does. It definitely uh, does. Now, there is a piece back here. I wonder if this opens up. There is no, like, articulation thing here, but, nah, it doesn't. I thought it did, but it's not doing anything for me. You see that? It feels like this should open up. It would It would be great if it did create a little bit of a bigger heel spur, but, nah, not doing anything for me. Not doing anything for me. That's a bummer, because um, I feel like it should. But there you go, there is the articulation on uh, this guy. And uh, overall, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. And for your size comparison, here is Bike Robo with, I did find the DX9 Salmore. Uh, I think it was DX9, right? <laughs> I keep saying it, but I can't remember. Um, he's kind of a mess. I remember him now being a mess. Uh, and he's even more of a mess nowadays. I don't know what happened with my Action Toys bigger uh, one. I'm, I, I, like, did I dream that I had it? I'm pretty sure I had it. Uh, but I never did anything with it. Maybe it's in a box in my backlog still. I, I didn't see it upon, like, quick inspection. But I'm sure it'll turn up at some point. Uh, and just to bring in a couple Transformers, here's, uh, Studio Series, uh, Rumble, and, uh, the Just, uh, Reviewed Animated Optimus, and yes, this is a Steam Robo from Action Toys, but this is their smaller line, which I did, uh, have, and I believe I reviewed their Leader One, and that figure was an absolute mess, uh, and I sold it pretty quick, uh, but I did end up getting Steam Robo, because I kind of liked how he looked. Um, never reviewed it. He's been in this box. He's going to go back in this box. Maybe I'll end up reviewing at some point. I do have a little interest in it right now. Um, but probably won't be till the new year. And, uh, when I get into a little more backlog stuff right now, trying to finish up 2023 stuff, which, uh, this guy is. So with that all said, there's only thing, one thing left to do. And that's, um, transform and roll. <laughs> what a GoBot say? I don't, I don't even know. It's done. It is done. Vroom vroom. <laughs> we have our motorcycle. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We really did <laughs> need to cut here. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, these will have to go back for our mystery rider. Um, who, who's gonna Who's gonna take the ride? Is it gonna be Rumble? Yeah. Let's ride. I think that's pretty good rumble. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, a robot could, could ride this. Mm, why not? Uh, but yeah, looks pretty good. It looks... <laughs> Bike Robo looks pretty good in this mode, I have to say. All of this looks cool. I like how it all connects. That's really nice. Wheels turn. Did I do right? Yeah. Absolutely cool. I like that. This is awesome. <laughs> it's simplistic, but, you know, it works. I like it. You know, some thrusters back there, pipes. Oh, this looks good. This oh, it just looks like a chainsaw to me. Like, it should be like a weapon that comes off and, you know, it's a chainsaw. That would be cool. Uh, but, yeah, I don't mind it. You know, a little headlight there. Little thing there that you know won't protect anybody. Um, the handlebars again. This is not bad. Maybe a one eighteenth scale figure. And we just do some. I do have. I have her here. Oh, I don't have that Lendl figure here. That's right. But I have this lady here. Ah, you know what? I feel like she's a little big. I feel like she's a little big. What about um, Mando here? Mando might fit. He seems a little smaller. Nah, too too big. So one eighteen just is a little bit big for this. That's a bummer, but I don't know. Still looks good. Oh, wait for it. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, now we're talking. I have my final thoughts, you know, I, I think I like uh, this silly 80s robo cycle uh, more as the cycle than a robo. Um, but that's fine. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to have a little motorcycle uh, hanging around. I think I will because he holds together really well like this and uh, the wheels aren't uh, like weighing down his shoulders, which was a little bit of a bummer. It, you could work around that for sure, but you know right out of the package and put together which is interesting i do like the idea of the little bit of building of it um it's 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 neat it's different uh you know it works it works i, I dig it and i really dig it like this i do so i don't know machine robo is something that i'm not familiar with but i'm very familiar with gobots so whenever there is something that comes out from either line i'm kind of like yeah i kind of want uh, something of it and Psykill just always did it for me so yeah it's one that I, i'm glad i picked up it's cool to try something new and uh get another little one of these guys in my collection as you saw like that salmo wasn't so good the action toys bigger one i think was all right I don't know what happened to it, so I don't know. And I never got the smaller one of that, but um, I'm glad I got this. It was sold out everywhere. There is a reissue coming out next year, and that's what made me remember it that this came out earlier this year, and I was like, oh, I want to try to find it. And I did find it at Crunchyroll. Uh, I don't know if it's still in stock. I don't know, because it is sold out in a lot of other places, so not sure. You can check if you're into this. And there you go, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. Let me help you diversify your collection. Maybe, sometimes, every once in a blue moon, a go-by. Until next time, peace out, peeps.